The Michael Wood saga continues as more of the stood down minister's actions come to light. Why a double digit rate increase could be on the cards for Auckland households. And Prince Harry gets his day in court against tabloids he accused of blighting his life. Atamaria, I'm Sherry Kinnear, and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Frustration from the Prime Minister over the length of time it's taken Michael Wood to sell his shares in the airport. It's been revealed the Cabinet Office has spoken to Wood about getting rid of them around six times since late 2020. Meanwhile, our newsroom can also reveal Wood declined North Shore Aerodome's application for airport authority status, a potential competitor to Auckland Airport. Chris Hipkins has now stood him down as Transport Minister for failing to properly disclose the interest. He's not sure why it's taken Wood so long and neither is he sure Wood has a good explanation. To be honest, I, I'm not really sure of the explanation there. I'm not sure that Michael himself even has a, a really um, good explanation for that. It would simply be one of those life admin tasks that he doesn't seem to have gotten around to. I don't think that that's acceptable. The average Auckland household is facing a double-digit rate increase as the real-life impact of Mayor Wayne Brown's first budget is becoming clear. It's two days out from the crucial vote on the sale of the council's airport shares, which will shape how much extra ratepayers have to stump up during the cost of living crisis. If Brown can offload the airport shares, which is looking unlikely at this point, household rates will rise by 6.7%. If not, they could rise by 9.8%. The man charged in relation to the death of Linda Woods is due in the Kaikori District Court today. The 71-year-old Dialysis patient died in her home on Thursday night. A 52-year-old man faces charges of manslaughter, burglary and aggravated assault. Meanwhile, Linda Woods' funeral will be held today. Fire and emergency crews are at the scene of a large warehouse fire in Wellington's Shelley Bay. A spokesperson says crews were called to a 40 by 50 metre warehouse blaze just before 3am. She says seven crews are at the scene battling the fire from the ground and air. Fens is expected to remain at the scene for some time. And Prince Harry has faced a London court, becoming the first royal to take the witness box in 130 years. The Duke of Sussex is accusing the publisher of British tabloid, the Daily Mirror, of unlawful methods like phone hacking to obtain information. He's blamed tabloids for destroying his adolescence and later relationships. Prince Harry pointed to rumours printed by tabloids he was fathered by Army Major James Hewitt as an example of efforts to oust him from the royal family. Harry will be back in the witness box tonight. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more stories and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tera. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.